the select code when the uh, elect code rotates and the intermediate species will be spread out to the ring electrode. On the ring electrode, we can apply to a potential that can oxidize the formed intermediate species. We can usually hold a uh, constant potential there. And then the, 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 the intermediate species uh, on the ring electrode will be re-oxidized to the to the original, original reactive species. In this case, based on the information of the current current density generated from the ring electrode, GR, and the current density generated from the phase electrode, GE, the phase R is the ring. Based on this information, we will be able to learn how much the intermediate species has been formed. We can also use this information to calculate the uh, charge transfer number n. They follow these two equations. Yeah, here. So the percentage of the intermediate species generated can be calculated from this equation. And the charge transfer number n can be calculated from this equation. So based on the uh, ID, JD, ID, IR, just these numbers are just a part. So we they can use the J to represent current density. We can change the I here into J and to represent current density will be obtained from the experiment. And the de derivation of these two uh, equations are not that complex. So this will be exercise two after class. Uh, I hope it's time to first uh, read the derivation de 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 process uh, from the textbook or the online information and then practice by yourself to, 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 to learn, just learn how these two equations uh, was, uh, was, uh, was derived. Uh, one thing I need to, 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 to talk about is a uh, number n, n here. n, we will use the number n here. What is? The number n is a collection efficiency. Collection efficiency means when the intermediate species was spread out because the ring only have a small uh, thickness. So not all the intermediate species are spread onto the ring. Some are stay here, some mm, are not here. So only uh, Small amount of intermediate species uh, uh, can be can 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 be a relative to 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 the original reactive species. So there is a, a, a we need to use a collection efficiency n to for for these calculations. So the collection efficiency n depends on the configuration of the like uh, the uh, RRD. Depend depend on the, the configuration of, of the RRD. Mm, this number can be theoretically calculated based on the uh the diameter thickness of the ring space. That's a theoretical can be theoretically calculated. Can also be experimentally calibrated. We, uh, we can run experiment with a known electrochemical reaction. And then based on the number there, we can calibrate the number for the RRD. Once uh, this number is uh, calibrated, it can be applied to the rest of the experiment. For a specific RRD, the number is a fixed number. Once it's calibrated, it can also be applied to, uh, in the future. So you don't need to calibrate uh, every time. 
So the example I want to give is also based on the two catalysts I talked just now, the ternary transition metal oxide system and the binary transition metal oxide systems uh, for, for, for the uh, uh, catalyst the oxygen production reaction. So the top uh, plot, in the top plot uh, on this slide, the solid line is the current we obtained from the disk, from the disk. The dash line are the current current we obtained from the current density, not current. Uh, we from the ring 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 electrode. Because the ring uh, current is usually much smaller than the disk current. So when I plot this uh, bigger, um, I multiply the ring current by 10 times, otherwise it will be a straight line we are not able to read any uh, difference. So the the plot below that are the calculated charge transfer number n and the percentage of the intermediate species generated uh, from the oxygen induction reaction. So the advantage of using RRDE relative to the RDE so we can see the both the n number, the charge transfer number n, and the percentage of the intermediate species varies with the potential applied to the to, to, to the electron. So we can we can read the information along the uh, a range uh, of the potential we applied to the electron. For example, the charge transfer number n is not a fixed number. Just now, we if we use RDE, the n number is a fixed number, 3.8 or 3.9 or something. Here, so the n number varies, uh, depends on the potential applied to the to, to the electron. Varies a little bit, not not not, not too much, but uh, not, not always a constant. Uh, for the intermediate intermediate species, uh, the same same thing. Okay, so we started the, after we studied the RD and the RRD, I think the, now let me give a summary of the, 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 the knowledge we studied at this class. Okay. First, we briefly uh, reviewed the rate determinative step of the electrochemical reaction. Electrochemical reaction. We talked about the charge transfer and the mass transfer process. We also talk about the forced convection of electrolyte to reduce the mass transfer. After that, we introduce the rotating disk electrode from the theory and the application perspectives. So the theory is based on the nurse diffusion layer and the thickness of the nurse diffusion layer is uh, derived by the scientist leverage. And then we, we, we studied the leverage equation. It's, uh, it's the most important equation of this class. That's the most, most important equation for the theory of the RDE and RRDE. And then we talked about the Cotactic leverage equation and by consideration about the, the charge transfer process. <clears throat> we also give two examples uh, about how to apply the RDE and, and to, to, for, for the, for, for the, to study the reaction, electrochemical reaction mechanism. We can calculate, calculate the diffusion coefficient in the reactant. We can also determine the charge transfer number uh, n. And finally, we studied the rotating ring phase electron. Uh, the theory includes two important reactions to calibrate the intermediate species and the charge transfer number. And the applications I gave is also based on the oxygen oxygen reduction reaction. Um, in case uh, it, they Follow uh, follows both the two two electron transfer and the four electron transfer processes. Okay, uh, that's uh, 
the information uh, we started from this class. And I hope you can take some time for to to to, to exercise the about the derivation of the leverage equation and the derivation of the leverage equation, the derivation of the R and equations. Uh, also do the exercises uh, about calculation of the Julian coefficient, the Julian coefficient P and the charge transfer number. So the homework will be handed out, it will be posted online. So there are three homeworks. And in addition to the exercises, then I also will yeah, use the three homeworks. Okay, that's uh, all for today.